and we're joined by Cincinnati coach Luke Fickle. Uh, Cincinnati is 2-0. and uh, The Bearcats were in action uh, Saturday against Miami of Ohio. Cincinnati won the game 21-0. to Bearcats, as we said, will play at home for the first time this season. Uh, this coming Saturday, a non-conference matchup against Alabama A&M. game will be at 7 p.m. Eastern and will be on ESPN3. Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you would take a minute to tie up the uh, the win against Miami on Saturday, please. And we <clears> always always great to get time. a win, but even more so in a rivalry game. So uh, uh, it, it was a different night, let's just say that. Um, I've never played in a game where it's been kind of a torrential, I don't know if I'd say torrential, but a complete downpour pretty much in from the start to the finish. So uh, it posed a lot of issues and a lot of problems, but you know, I think we uh, – we're seeing some maturity start to kind of unfold in front of our own face and, <clears throat> and how our guys have handled it and, you know, just how they played on defense and um, and then offensively just being, you know, aware of what the situations are and, you know, having to kind of adjust and adapt. And you know, we always had a plan for some bad weather, but um, not until you actually get into it and, and realize the, you know, the severity of it and, you know, what are your options that, uh, you know, I felt like those guys did a great job of just adapting and sticking to a, you know, a, a modified game plan um, and not panicking, and I think that's where <clears throat> you're seeing some of the maturity grow, um, not just with us as a coaching staff, but our players as well. We'll take questions for Coach Fickle, please. Hit star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. We'll take our first question from Dan Tatora from wakeupcalldt.com. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you? How are we doing, Dan? Doing well. Uh, just what you can say about – finally getting in front of the fans at home in Cincinnati for this first game coming up and bringing them a 2-0 and start to it. Just what you can say about, you know, that atmosphere that you're expecting in Cincinnati as you move forward here with the season. That's really what we're excited about. Not that we're not excited to play a game and to be at home, but uh, just to, to, you know, to, to get our fans back behind us, to get the community, the, most importantly, our student body. Um, you know, obviously we played at, in Paul Brown State in this past weekend, so, um, it was really almost as close as a home game, and uh, our fans, and especially our student body, that came out and and, uh, and did a great job. I mean, really, they were a lot more there than I ever expected in the weather conditions, and and staying through it, and fighting through it, and, and being a factor for us. So, um, you know, to to have some momentum and to come back home here for the first time this year, um, obviously starting off on a good foot with being two and zero. I think that uh, you know we're excited about making sure that these guys uh, have something to watch and be something to proud of. Um, and uh, so we're excited about getting them back in front of them. And then in this 2-0 and start, just what you can say about dual-track quarterback Desmond Ritter and just what he's been offensively to this team. I know he's been all over the place doing a lot of different things. Just what you can say about how he's kind of – how you see him through your eyes as the head coach of the team on film through these first couple games. I just see a young kid that's, that's confidence is growing and it's not people say, well, you haven't, he hasn't had a lot of success throwing or whatever. No, I know, but the confidence level, the, the belief in the system and who we are and what we want to be. Um, he wasn't a guy that batted an eye, whether he, you know, was running the ball the other night or didn't have an opportunity to throw the ball too many times. It was, uh, you just kind of seeing that, as I said before, that maturity kind of growing through um, right in front of our own face. So uh, excited about what he's doing. You know, he's a, he's a, He's a serious guy, and uh, he's mature beyond his years, even though he's a, a, a redshirt freshman. Um, but it's also you, you got to give a lot of credit to that room too. And so I don't uh, discredit that at all, the, the relationship between him and Hayden, the experiences that Hayden has had in playing a lot of football games. He's able to communicate with him and help him with those things um, as they continue to, to do what's best for our program. Thanks, Coach. Congrats on the win. I appreciate your time. Sure. Thank you. And we have other questions for Coach Fickle, please. Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Coach, we'll let you off easy this week. Thanks for your time today, and look forward to hearing from you again next Monday.